Hi, I'm Nick, aka The Awkward Editor, and this is another Creator Chronicles for Patreon. If you want to support my work and my ongoing projects like the Heart and Brain video game, you can go to patreon.com slash theawkwardyeti. Today I'm going to talk about Heart and Brain, how they came to be. This is a question I get all the time. How did you come up with the idea for Heart and Brain? Well, the cool thing about social media is things can come about very organically with the help of the audience. So this has been really cool for me. I started sharing random comics. I just anything that I had come up with in the years past, or, you know, it'd be single panel things. Maybe it's about a dinosaur, maybe it's about chemistry, maybe it's about biology. And uh, I had Lars, the Awkward Yeti, of course, and people started really enjoying the science comics. So I thought, well, that's cool. I love doing these ones. So I started doing just a little bit more of those. And as I, as I kept going, I started introducing the brain character with Lars, and Lars had an inter internal dialogue that he could work with now. We started getting into the anxiety. What's, what was going into that? What were these thoughts that were keeping Lars awake at night? And after a while, the anxiety thing, it was just a bit much, even for me, helps me work through all those things, but uh, you know, you need something to offset that. So I introduced the heart. Heart is the perfect, counterbalance to the brain, emotional, but a little bit more positive. And originally, Hart was pretty stupid and just wild and out there, um, really goofy looking. Did not expect for Hart to even stay on as a character. I thought it was going to be more of a cameo because it was more about Lars and brain. But after a while, you know, I listened to the audience and we realized kind of together and organically that heart and brain work so well together that they don't always even need Lars around. So as much as we love Lars, heart and brain have just the perfect dynamic on their own. So I think we all agreed that this was a really great way to go through the decision-making process behind really anything from eating healthy food to making big risky decisions in your career. Uh, so I think together we kind of came up with that. And I think having a small audience originally, you can pay more attention to what people are into. You read more of the comments. Now it's a little harder for me. But uh, on Patreon, one thing I really love is that it's a smaller audience and you can interact with them a little bit more and they get to see more behind the scenes. So if you're a fan uh, of the work, you'll probably appreciate that. And the Patreon money helps to support my ongoing projects like the Heart and Brain video game that I'm working on that's going to take quite a while. Uh, and you'll see some behind the scenes of that. So if you want to help out, again, it's patreon.com slash the awkward yeti. And I hope you enjoy these. I'll have another one next week. They're free to watch. Bye.